So how's it going guys? This is Ryo Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. We meet again. So where to begin? So one of my goals for this year was to talk about a camera shop that I purchased my GW690 and I thought it would be a great time during this period of time to talk about this camera shop since nothing like this exists in Japan. The shop that I purchased my GW690 is called Kitamura Shashinki Camera Shop. It's located near the Shinjuku Station, one of the busiest and largest stations in Tokyo. It's roughly a 10 minute walk from Shinjuku East Exit. Don't forget about that East Exit because there's like so many exits. This shop, where to begin? Uh, I might as well like start with the intro because no one talked about the intro in a really good manner. So here it goes. So hard to explain, but this camera shop is owned by Camera Kitamura, which you guys know is a chain store located throughout Japan actually. And you will probably see the red logo wherever you go, especially in Shinjuku and lots of areas in Japan. But Kitamura Camera, actually before they became a sort of like a stock holding company in Japan, they originated, they originally, they originated in Kochi Prefecture on the sort of like the countryside of Japan. And the original camera, this Kitamura camera's original name was actually called Kitamura Shashinki Camera Shop actually, back in 1930s if I'm right. And ever since then, they sort of reorganized periodically. They actually changed their name like three times until they made it to the name that you guys know, Camera Kitamura. Basically the concept of this camera shop, the Shashinki camera shop. So photography has been becoming a everyday part of our lives, a part of means of communications. And that's why valuing the natural things that occur in our life, our life should be much more, you know, enriched. So what we camera or camera camera store wants to propose to the, you know, the consumers and the prosumers is not just selling equipments of you know, camera equipments such as cameras and lenses but to give the consumers a sort of like a rich photography life where this location can be shared with the customers and that's like related with their lives and by living with their cameras and also having this life as in like shooting photos and sharing them and documenting our precious moments and and during some of those you know times and you know sadness we can have those you know moments where we can basically use photos to care ourselves when we're in pain and also meet with new people and understanding and connecting with various people locations and places and, a pl and also a place to relax so that's basically the concept behind why they made this camera shop the logo the k actually is the first letter in the word kitamura and the first logo is also modeled after the ref refraction of light and the basic principles of a camera because a camera basically captures the image with like lights i fail physics so i suck at like explaining that unfortunately but this sort of like what do you call intersection of like light going into the camera is sort of like trying to sort of like display the intersections of people communicating in the photography community which is like sort of like reflected in the logo and due to the fact that Shinjuku is by far the camera mayhem location for shopping cameras actually for photographers and enthusiasts they wanted to sort of provide you with a never before experience within their shop so so basically going on to topic this shop is really unique unlike any other camera stores because there are seven floors in a basement actually and i'm gonna go by like one floor like describing what they have actually in the store for you guys so b1 basement first floor is basically allocated towards the apple aftercare program so majority of people who like shoot photos not like the majority of us shoot with film cameras but if you're a working professional you're 100 percent shooting with a digital camera and if you shoot with a digital camera you always have some kind of laptop or some kind of computer 50 percent of you guys probably use an apple macbook pro or macbook air or macbook studio i don't know what you guys use but if you're i feel like traveling to japan and if you're a youtuber or someone and your like camera not camera but your laptop breaks down you can basically go to shinjuku and go to this area go to the basement floor and basically they will do that you know aftercare maintenance kind of stuff for you and it is an official shop so 
for the professional photography community. The first floor is basically the entrance of the shop and it's more like the DTP digital print and an area where you can purchase accessories, camera straps and stuff like that for meant for the consumer consumers and they also sell film stocks, film accessories and you name it all and this is, is sort of like the entrance to the photography community and they have a lot of disposable cameras the famous Utsurun Desu is one and Elford started making their monochrome type of disposable cameras and I think Kodak too actually with their Tri-X series you can find those on the first floor and also they also have a location on the counter actually you can basically send in your color negatives and your reversals in Japan we call it reversal, you guys call it slide films to get them like processed. FYI, in terms of how long, how long it takes to get it processed, for color negatives it will take roughly one hour, however slide films it will take up to 10 days so if you're, unless you're like staying for an extended period of time, I would not recommend shooting with slide films in Japan actually. So. They also have various services going on, you can print your images within their shop onto a sort of like a USB or a CD and they also have premium printing services where they can print your image, digital file, JPEG or anything onto a sort of like a premium paper within 30 minutes. Not to mention there are photo books options, smartphone printing options and etc etc I can't name it all. On the second floor is actually where it's meant for people who are thinking of purchasing a new digital camera and this is basically where you can purchase any kind of digital camera they have selling in Japan. The newest and greatest GFX 100S if you have the money, <laughs> I can't afford it. Uh, 50S Mark II was it? And Panasonic, Panasonic S1R, Sony's S a7R, uh, I, I don't know what's on these cameras unfortunately, but, but you know what I'm talking about, the digital cameras. And because I use a Fujifilm cameras, obviously they do have Fujifilm offerings, the X-T30, Mark II, X-T4, X-H-S, oh, 2 s I think that's still under sort of like reservation actually, so they don't have that in stock yet. And oh yeah, another concept about the shop that I have to mention is that this, the person who made this shop actually thought that the more there are offerings, the consumers are going to get lost. But that being lost is a great sort of like experience because that means that we have more chances, more opportunities to test these cameras out within our store. And if you can test them out, you have that chance of picking up of a camera that I never thought of and that might enrich your you know, photography like life. So, but wasn't there a sort of like a, like a mental uh, professor who said that if you have too much options, the consumers won't purchase that item. <laughs> I remember someone saying that, but I guess they took that on the other hand and the thought that if they lose their consumers and getting lost in the purchasing decision, that would sort of enrich their lives. And I think that's the correct way of like selling products to people. Okay, so on the third floor, and this actually happened recently. So this camera sh shop opened back in 2020. And back then the third floor was actually meant for used film cameras. However, they renovated it. And on the third floor, they actually made a floor dedicated for junk type of cameras, cameras that you can't use. However, for some people, you guys might be able to like fix it. So this is sort of like a floor dedicated for those enthusiasts who want to get a bargain price camera and want, are thinking of like fixing it themselves and within their like work place or any, I don't know what you guys would do with it, but sort of like an area dedicated for that and they basically moved the used camera, film cameras up to fourth floor. And probably on the fourth floor is probably where 99% of my viewers are gonna go. This is actually the holy sacred land where you can purchase your ideal film cameras if it's in store. And I, I keep forgetting to mention but this building in particular, it's not one building but it's like a building connected with another building so there's a section A and section B and on the fourth floor section A if I'm right 
is where the film cameras are located, used film cameras are located, and B is actually where the used digital cameras are located, so keep that in mind. So one way or another, I mean, you can basically check those two areas if you shoot either with digital or if you shoot with a film camera. This area, the fourth floor, is actually where I purchased my GW690, and back then they had only one GW690, and beside that they had a Pentax 67, and I debated hard and went with the GW690 and when I went today actually to shoot this video unfortunately they did not have a GW690 in stores unfortunately however they had a lot of Pentax 67s they have from they had the Mark 1 the version 1 to the version 3 actually so depending on your needs there are more offerings in the Pentax 67 realms and they also had Zenza Bronicas medium format cameras, and a hell lot of Hasselblad cameras. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I had a Hasselblad, but it, yeah, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> and when I actually visited this store like two years ago, and even now, I am amazed by how, many, um, how much like medium format cameras and film cameras, twin row reflexes, Leicas, you name it all they have. If you can't find it here, it's hard. It's gonna get like really hard finding your ideal camera elsewhere because this camera probably covers 70-80% of the cameras being sold in J throughout Japan actually. And Camera Kitamura also has a sell and buy in like system so people who have an NT camera can sell cameras to this shop and the majority of those cameras get like collected into this one area which is in Shinjuku and if you can't find it here you won't be able to probably find it anywhere so interesting location to shop cameras. Okay, so on the fifth floor, this is actually a location where you can basically sell your equipments, your camera equipments, and also send your camera if it needs some kind of repair or if it's repairable, they can do it for you. I'm not sure like what specifically what cameras they can fix and not fix, and and which one are the repairable ones and which one are not. But if I'm right, probably the, the mechanical cameras could can get fixed. However, the electronic type of cameras, cameras that have electronic shutter, such as the Mamiya RZ, you guys know it. Uh, another one, I think Mamiya, the camera that I use, the 645 Mamiya 645 1000S series, uh, Mamiya Super, if I'm right, and all sorts of cameras that use electronic shutter, X-Pan from Hasselblad, uh, Fuji's like Panorama, camera and also contact G2, contact TX, T3, T2 are all, you know, you guys know it, electronic camera, so probably those can't never be fixed. However, if it's like a mechanical or well, shutter type of camera, such as a GW690, it might be able, I guess they might be able to fix it. Uh, mark my word, I, don't, I didn't like talk to them about it, that, so I don't want to think about that yet. But yeah, it is a location where you can sort of send your cameras in and get it fixed so the floor above the fifth floor is the sixth floor and last but not least this is the premium area where the Leica fanboys will love and also this is the uh, where the cameras at that they sell at auction quality price so if you're like a really rich person who can afford Leica cameras this is the area to go and I think map camera you guys know map camera they also have something similar to this on their basement floor, actually, for Leica fanboys, actually. I'm not a Leica fanatic, or I don't know much about Leica specifically. So if you're into that, this is another location to check if you're into Leica cameras. But not least, on the seventh floor, they have a self-portrait area. And I did not go there because I wasn't feminine enough and didn't have the courage to go there. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately but if you're into like self portrait area it's becoming a trend in Japan actually like the Korean style self portrait booth I don't know what you guys call it but it's sort of picking up speed in Japan actually I guess I should uh, test it out sometime oh crap I don't want to go there alone I should drag someone so 
that's basically it. I hopefully covered everything in this video. Like two years ago, I think back when they started business, they kind of co-shared this area with Starbucks Japan. But now as of 2022, Starbucks Japan actually retreated. They don't exist in the shop anymore. I don't know what happened between Starbucks Japan and Camera Kitamura. A gruesome battle might have taken place, unfortunately. So... And this whole building, the A section and B section, that's like connected to each other, is fully like maintained and owned, I guess, by Camera Kitamura. But there is a, I think the second floor and the third floor, if I'm right, a famous drug company called Sun Drug sells like medicines and stuff like that and drinks if you're if you need to be hydrated and stuff like that. So if you need like medicines and stuff like that you can also purchase things from the second and third floor which is great if you're like traveling in japan actually so yeah sun drugs like similar to a shopper's drug market you know what i'm talking about if you live in canada in north america i would in america what would it be uh, uh walgreens yeah sun drugs is similar to walgreens in the united states so <laughs> hope i give you guys some kind of knowledge yeah, so, so yeah, ho hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you're ever in Tokyo, please visit this shop. It is a one-stop camera shop location for picking up a film camera and a digital camera. And if you're thinking of purchasing one, this is a great location. And I had to mention again, this is actually where I purchased my GW690 the third. Unfortunately, I guess they're getting really hard to come by because this shop has not had this camera in store for quite a long time. I visited like periodically, but I guess when they opened up that, oh, that camera that I purchased was like basically the only one in stock. So unfortunately on this day, I wasn't able to find another GW690, but maybe they might be selling one in the new future, hopefully. But instead they have a lot of Pentax 6.7. So if you're into that camera, might be a great location to like pick one up and who knows they might get extinct in your future so if you're into like a film or if you're into digital please visit the shop and please like comment leave questions in the area below I'm happy to reply and yeah i guess that's it we will see you next time peace keep shopping keep shooting and keep saving money because i'm getting poor <laughs>